Right now? Mm -hmm. Oh, action? Okay. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Philip Nichols. My name is Angelica Jaquis. My first name is Raynette. Uh, my name is Jenna Broadhurst. Right now? Yes. Oh, my name is Christina Leem. I'm from Communication Sciences and Disorders. Yay! <laughs> Um, tell me what mission trip did you go on? I was able to serve on the 2018 China Mission Project. The mission trip that I went on was to Brazil in March of 2019. I've been on two mission trips with the university. Both of them we went down to Ensenada in Mexico to work with the orphanages that Loma Linda works with. Um, I was on the China mission trip in September of 2018. So tell me what you did during your trip. On the trip, we were able to help out the pastor and his wife by cleaning up the orphanage in order to get it ready for a quinceanera that two of the girls at the orphanage would have the following month. So this trip was very much so a clinical trip. We provided um, therapy to um, the kiddos in China. We provided a lot of parent education as well as healthcare professional education in the area of um, speech language pathology. Some of the things that we did in Brazil include building a water line from the river to the homes. Uh, we also played. <laughs> we played soccer and we got to visit with the people in the community and we did some sightseeing as well. What part of the trip made the biggest impact on you? I would say the part of the trip that had the biggest impact on me was uh, seeing just how much need there was for speech and language services in China. Um, there were so many families at the children's hospital that we were at um, that had just been waiting to be able to be seen uh, by a speech pathologist. And I think that was the biggest impact, just being there um, for these people that needed us. I don't, you know, it was more of an impact on us too, more than anything. How did God use you during the trip? A lot of times in school, we're just so busy. We're one track minded doing what we're focused on in our fields and learning. And in this mission trip, I was able to take a break from it all, be with other students who are able to take a break as well and be with a community that showed me so much love and hospitality that it kind of, when I came back, I realized like there's more than just school. There's also other things that I could do to volunteer my time, even if it's just in the smallest of forms. This trip made me realize I need to be a missionary wherever I am, wherever I go and with whoever I'm with. Um, A missionary is not just somebody who um, goes and does good things. It's somebody who goes and serves, and somebody who goes with an open heart and an open mind and um, serves, whether it be through treatment, um, clinical treatment, or whether it be through a hug and a smile, um, and representing Jesus Christ. Would you encourage other students to get involved in mission work? I would definitely encourage other students to go on mission trips. It's because it's such a good opportunity to get out there. And um, this experience as a whole will not only change the people whose lives you impact, but you will also be changed yourself through your experiences. What one word or what two words describes this trip? The two words I would use to describe this trip would be love and hospitality. I would say it would be Gratitude. Love. Unexpected. <laughs> there were so many unexpected moments that happened, um, whether it be meeting people or <laughs> playing with baby alligators to <laughs> finding ginormous tarantulas in trees and on the ceiling. Um, unexpected is really the word that encompasses this whole experience for me.